Today, we're gonna make Dr. Lupo's Stinger Transition. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today, we're back at it with the Stinger Transitions, but today we're gonna be recreating Dr. Lupo's Stinger Transition. Even though it's I did ninjas before. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link in the description and probably up in the corner of the video, there'll be a link to ninjas. But today we're doing Dr. Lupo's. So if we take a look here in After Effects, I already have it created. We're gonna take a look at how I made it. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to work the template that I will be providing. But before we get started, guys, I just wanted to let you know that I will be releasing the template for this Dr. Lupo transition if this video gets 10 likes. Now I'm already gonna show you how to work the template because I am confident that we'll get there. But just know that I'll be releasing releasing it if you get 10 likes on this video. So make sure you're getting down there and liking it if you want to be able to use this template. Now let's get into the tutorial. So here in After Effects, you're gonna see we got three comps here called Final Render, Colors, and your logo here. So here's what the transition looks like. As you can see, it's a complete shot for shot recreation of Dr. Lupo's Stinger Transition. We can par compare it to his right here. So as you can see, it is a frame by frame replica of Dr. Lupo's transition. The only thing I've changed is on this white line in the center here. I've taken out the zigzag that is part of his logo. His has the white zigzag that goes through because that's his logo. It's the D with the zigzag through it and yours doesn't have that. So I've taken it out and just made it a straight solid line. So it works for anybody's logo. Looks really good. But now let's go ahead and look at it frame by frame of how I made this. So his transition is just this red solid that comes in from either side and it doesn't meet perfectly in the center. Right when it meets in the center, it turns white. It has a white line there. So it just comes together and then I have a white solid that pops up behind all of these. So it comes together and then this is all transparent, but then right when they connect, white solid appears right there. And then right when that white solid appears, you see the purple start coming in, and then the purple comes in and takes the place of the red, so it comes in right at the same, um, right to the same place that the red does, and then the purple begins to shrink away behind, revealing the final color, which is the dark bluish purple, but then the logo comes in on the tail of the light purple split in half, and then meets in the center. So you see the logo coming in here, and boom, it connects. And then we're just got a logo on the black or on the, the dark blue. And then we hold on there for a while and the entire transition is just reversed out in the opposite direction. And that is it for Dr. Lupo's Stinger Transition. It's really easy, but now I'm gonna show you guys how you can download this and add in your own logo, your own colors and make your own transition using it. So you've got a couple of compositions here. You've got colors, so that's where we're gonna start. If you click on the colors composition, you're gonna see you got color one, color two, color three, color four. Now these are out of order and they're out of order on purpose. Um, do not add them, do not flip around two and three, it'll break the whole thing, just leave it one, three, two, four. And if you click on them and go up to effects controls here, you see you've got this eyedropper and here's where you can change all of your colors. So if we go to a point that has all the colors in it, you see you can change color one to whatever you want. So if we change it to the red, see color one goes to the red. Color three, if we change it to the purple, the line goes purple. Color two, if we change it to a gray, you see it goes gray. And then color four, we'll change it to blue up here and it goes blue. So there we go, we've completely changed the colors around. Let's go to the final render here. And you can see you can make it whatever colors you want. I would recommend keeping that line in the center white. It looks a little strange when it's not like a standout color or like a yellow or just something really bright. But as you can see, you can change the colors to be whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and change them back to be Dr. Lupo's colors here. I think it looks really good. So then if you wanna put your logo in here, you just go over to the your logo here and you'll see fake logo. You can just hide that or just delete it. And then you can just bring in your logo and you might need to just rescale it around. Just kind of make it this general size, just right like that. Eh, maybe, yeah, just kind of like that general size. Just fit it inside the composition. And once you put your logo in there and come back to the final render, it'll be in place and it will cut in half for you. It'll be perfectly cut in half just like that. As long as you place your logo nice and centered to where the line goes right through the center, the cut goes to the center, make sure your logo is centered in here and you should have no problems having your logo get cut in half beautifully right there. And then it is time to render it. Once you've changed out your colors in the color tab, just click on them, go to effects controls. And then once you've placed your logo fitting right in here in the center, you go back to final render. That is a big step. Make sure when you are ready to render, you are on the final render comp. Don't render from colors, don't render from here. Render from final render. Make sure that your in and out points are set how you want them. They should already be set for you right here at the beginning of the transition, all the way to right when it is over, it ends. Then once it's done, you're selected in the composition, got your uh, in and out points set, you're gonna go to composition, 
add to render queue. It'll take you to the render queue here and you just want to click on lossless and you want to change where it says format from AVI to QuickTime and then change the channels from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha means that there will be a transition or a transparent layer behind the um, transition behind the stinger. There won't be a black background so that it can go over your footage. So we want RGB plus alpha, quick time, hit okay. And then you can click here where it says final render. And this is where you save it wherever you want. And you can render it from there, name it, whatever you want. And then you just hit render and then you are done, ladies and gentlemen. If you do have any other renders in here, just make sure you delete them all except for the one that you are trying to render. It should already be blank, but if you do have any, make sure you delete all the ones just by selecting and hitting delete. And to where you only have your stinger transition render in here but that is pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed the video now you can have dr lupo's stinger transition um, i do provide the templates so that you guys can have his transition if you want but i do encourage you to take what you learned here of how i made the transition and make your own transition add your own little flair to it don't try to don't copy exactly what he has because then everyone's going to have the same transition and it's going to be really boring but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out